Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at a new and improved version of a mini pack of Sparky Rage deck for using inside of the new meta. This deck, I'm gonna tell you guys, is extremely powerful and is the perfect strategy for quite literally overwhelming your opponent and destroying them in one push only. All you need is Sparky down on defense, Drop a Goblin Giant in front on the counter push, rage everything up, and then Mini P.E.K.K.A. supports your Sparky, and it literally just kind of like steamrolls your opponent and destroys them. Uh, and then you also have one of the most broken cards in Clash Royale right now, guys, in there as well, the Skeleton Dragon. So, very, very strong deck. Uh, once again, guys and girls, if you want to support me, feel free to throw in credit code Shane into the bottom of your shop. It costs you nothing extra, and is a great way to help support the channel, help support me. So, thank you if you choose to use code Shane in your shop. All right, let's go ahead here, guys and girls, jump into our first battle, and we have the perfect starting hand with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Sparky, if we shall choose to defend anything. Now, the only downside to this starting hand, actually, it's going to be okay, is that you can't really, go to, can't really go too offensive early, but Musketeer there, a Goblin Gang obviously indicates some sort of log bait deck, typically is where Goblin Gang is used, but we shall see if that is, in fact, the case. So Musketeer, I'm actually going to let her go back there and buy herself. Even though we are leaking Elixir, he is also leaking Elixir. So we see some bats from him when he had one Musketeer shot with the assistance of the Zaspel to his bats. Um, and now we see a Battle Ram. So Battle Ram, Goblin Game Bats, to me indicates it's going to be a three Musketeers deck. Which uh, should be rather interesting to see how this plays out here. Three Musketeers, um... Yeah, Three Musketeers deck. He's gonna have... I don't think this deck runs Mini P.E.K.K.A. It's Goblin Gang, Bats, Minion Horde, and the Muskets. And Pump. This is like the classic, like, back in the day. Like, back in my day. This was the deck, guys. So, I'm gonna get some respectable damage done to that tower. We actually do get the, uh... The bats down in the process. I'm gonna try and go early Musketeer here. See if she locks on to the uh, pump, which she does. She destroys it. So I gotta say, I think she earned her value of getting uh, the four elixir costs paid back in the dead pump there. So we're gonna go Sparky here. I predict we'll see a few Musketeers behind this giant right now. The only, the biggest issue that I foresee in this particular battle is gonna be his minion horde. Um, okay. So one of these. All right, cool. So we're gonna go Goblin Game in front of this. The Goblin Game provides aerial support for right here, for example. We go Zaspel for the Minion Horde. Goblin Gang finishes them off with the Spears. And I'm actually gonna go ahead here and heal up my Sparkinator with the Heal Spell. And actually keeps it alive for potentially one Sparky Blast. Yes, indeed. Musketeer will, in fact, finish that tower off. He's going to go ahead and pump with 30 seconds left in this battle, which I got to say is an interesting choice to make. Knew that was going to come down there. It's going to get our uh, Skeleton Dragons ready for that. Rage everything up. And I got to say, guys and girls, that's probably one of our most finessed battles that I've had in a uh, long time. I got to say we absolutely, positively destroyed... In that battle there. Uh, we do have a pretty good um, matchup in that. But uh, I gotta say he played very, very inter interestingly for the uh, deck that he had. Alright guys, jumping in here against our dear friend Abo. Good luck my dear. So we're gonna go uh, Heal Spirit to start out things here. One uh, Heal Spirit left lane. Basically one Elixir and is a guaranteed, for the most part, 130 free damage. Because typically they don't respond to it. And uh, he's also wasting Elixir right now, which is okay by me. So what I want to do, if he does not do anything, he's going to go Skeleton Dragon Split here. Obviously, the more ideal play, honestly, is to play defense until you figure out their deck. But seeing as we are uh, recording a video, I want to be a bit more uh, aggressive with this. Which is unfortunate because we just did, did, did use our air defense. So, alright. Let's rage this. Come on. Cool. This. Nice. Okay, cool. So he just went fireball, which means he cannot fireball this right now. My Skeleton Dragon's Force Infernal. 
they will destroy it fairly nicely. And then on the counter push right here, he's going to have either a Valkyrie or nothing. Yo, he actually chooses to ignore that. Balloonage. What do you got for this? What do you got for this? Free spell? Zap spell? Your fireball's out of rotation. So the balloon should die with zero, with just the death damage. Now, we are not going to support the Musketeer with anything. He's going to respond to it with uh, Valkyrie. Kind of figured he might have a Valkyrie in there, so... Kind of mentally was prepared for that. Uh, anyways. Let's go. Heal spot there, basically... The, the reason I used the heal spot there was basically to... Uh, keep the... Mini pick alive longer, distracting these Skeleton Dragons, preventing some damage to my tower. Because the Skeleton Dragons are actually, like, significantly, I think, uh, overpowered. Because when you think about it, they have double the damage of a regular baby dragon for literally the same elixir cost. So, that can be rather absurd the more you think about it. Wait for it. Got this right now. Alright. So, with the help of the Zaspel, the uh, Sparky actually clears through the Barbarians, and the Goblin Giant actually destroys his tower, all with the help of the uh, Heal Spirit. And obviously the Rage allows the, uh, basically allows the Goblin Giant to uh, clear through the Infernal before the Infernal clears through it, if that makes sense. Let's go a bit aggressive right here. I figured he would do that, so let's get a little bit of a Zaspel right here for this. Get the Baby Dragon dead. Notice how, like, I didn't, I didn't drop anything too aggressively there left lane. Because what I wanted to do was, um, save my elixir for the rush right lane. I had a feeling he would try and go on the right lane rush with the balloon. So I tried to make sure I always had elixir for that. And man, one more musketeer shot would have been beautiful, but, uh, good game. Well played, though. Alright, guys and girls, we're keeping it going over here. Nova, uh, Royick. Good luck to you, sir. So, starting hand isn't nearly as good as, uh, we've had previously. But what I want to do right now is probably just go Heal Spirit here to start. Hopefully get a little bit of chip damage to his tower. The Heal Spirit for one Elixir, honestly, it's like basically a free 130 damage that he does not respond to. So, essentially, that's a like free damage. So what I want to do right now is with this kind of a starting hand, we have two options. We can go Skeleton Dragon split by the King Tower. That way we have uh, units in both sides of the arena. However, he's going to go Miner there. Unfortunately, we do not have our mini pack up for that. So, a very, very unfortunate situation with the lack of a mini pack up for the uh, Miner. I'm going to go a little bit aggressive here with this. We'll zap some bats right here. I'm actually going to go ahead here and heal up my mini pack up so it's able to destroy this uh, Royal Giant fairly nicely. And I, be I believe he's probably going to use Skarmy or Goblin Gang here, left lane. So let's go ahead and get this ready for that. Yes. Come on, Sparky, one shot. Oh, he zaps it. He zaps it. Honestly, though, we get a few Skeleton Dragon Belches to his tower there. So it obviously is the uh, Mega Knight uh, uh, Miner. I'm assuming Skeleton Barrel Bait deck. Which honestly could be a bit of a problem. Because breaking through, we don't have a whole lot of splash damage with the fact that we have the uh, uh, Rage in there instead of like multiple spells. You know, mini pack up for this Miner here. It's out this. Get a few of the Skeletons and most of the Bats as well. And then we got mini pack of right lane. Um, I'm not going to respond to that right now. He's going to go Dark Goblin there. And we are going to get a. He's going to go Goblin Gang here. Or just zaps it. Same difference. Alright, cool. Let's go a bit of a defense here, boys. Go. Nice. We'll see if we can get a Mega Knight down in time for this Mini P.E.K.K.A. Was that this? Baby Dragon Belches. Mini P.E.K.K.A. one shot, please. Oh, come on. That Mini P.E.K.K.A. 100% shoots there, guys. Come on, bro. Raise this up, please. Boom. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to go Musketeer back here. Mini Pekka for the Miner. Dragons for these Goblins down here. They're going to belch out, destroy those Goblins. And we are unable to get anything in front of this, which is a little unfortunate. 
I'm gonna go Sparky here, defense. Musketeer is gonna make quick work of the uh, Mega Knight. I'm gonna save his that spell for this uh, barrel here. Kill Spirit for the uh, Inferno, and I'm gonna get a Goblin Giant in front of this. And hopefully get that one push that you always dream of in a deck like this. Mega Knight coming down here shortly. It's out the Inferno Tower. Reset that, Jazz. The Goblin Giant should... Yeah, there you go, guys. That one massive push right there. Um, basically just won us the game. <laughs> and all that was was just defending and then just basically counter pushing. Once we had enough units alive on defense, uh, converting to a counter push, and you win. Alright, guys. Keeping it going against Simp BN up there, guys. Mr. Simp BN. Good luck, good luck, good luck. So, we're gonna go ahead here, um... Dad, you know what? I really, really dislike not having my mini pack out when I need it. I mean, it's still a... Like, it's a... You know what? I'm okay with that. That's a negative one trade for him, so... He likely has... He likely has P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Bam is my guess. He just used... His, uh, Zap and E-Wizard, so he might be okay to go with a, uh... What do you call it here? Hmm. He, he's, he's pushing pretty well here, guys, with the Barbarians on the right. Is that this? Okay, those Barbarians destroy my face. I gotta be honest with you guys. Yeah. Nice! Sparky, go! He, he's back to E-Wizard, though. He was here right here. No! Oh, wow! One health, man. Uh, I gotta say, I'm very, very interested in that, uh... The lack of E-Wizard there. I guess he didn't have the Elixir for it, though, eh? Wow. That, the Bar Battle Ram right lane, I gotta, be honest with you, I gotta be honest with you guys, did a lot more damage than I, uh... Was initially... Uh, expecting for that. So... It's kind of unfortunate, but... I mean, it happens. He's gonna go peck it right here for this uh, Goblin Giant now. He's gonna go Bandit. Alright. Interesting. So I think what I want to do right now, guys and girls, is actually... Uh, soak the Bandit charge and go Musketeer here. He might go uh, slow peck a push here eventually. We'll kind of see how it goes. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Pekka here at one point. There it is. So I'm gonna go Sparky here on the right. If he drops an e -Wizzy on top of my Sparky, we are gonna go ahead with a uh, mini Pekka for the E-Wizard. Wait for it. One of these. Okay. Let's go. Nice, we blast that. The Rage Sparky's getting some good work done to these Barbarians here. We heal it up. Nice, nice, nice. And now we're going to go uh, a little bit more aggressive and try and capitalize on this uh, Sparky. But we just got infinite value with the minions dropped into the uh, Skeleton Dragons. Zap this pack to keep the uh, Goblin Dragon alive a bit longer. Sparky blasts a million tiles. And uh, Mr. Simpo is uh, unfortunately a victim to our Sparky deck right there, guys. I mean, granted, he was level 12, but I think we would have won that anyways. The only uh, issue was when he went bar Battle Ram and we kind of got caught uh, kind of off guard a bit with that Battle Ram doing some work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we still won. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, uh, facing up against Yuzu. Yo, broski, I don't have my Zaspel in my starting hand. Ooh. Actually, we're gonna take like one Goblin Stab there? Or two? Probably two, still. Hmm. Here's a pro tip for y'all. Use the Heal Spirit directly on top of the Prince. Um, this is gonna be a this is gonna this is gonna suck. He's gonna have Rocket too, which means I don't even know why I went Sparky there. Maybe he doesn't Rocket in time. This is a, a bad matchup for us though. He's got Log Bait with Rocket. We do not have the uh, yeah, we do not have um, basically anything efficient at destroying him here. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go a bit riskier here, boys. I don't really care. We have terrible matchup here, so I'm gonna go a bit riskier and hope that it works out. Get to that log here. Log, 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 log,
All right. Yo, the Dark Goblin's range is absurd. Bruh. All right. Yo, I don't even know how we destroyed that tower. Literally. But I think we're dead in this counter push anyways, guys, to be honest. Yeah. We didn't have anything in hand. We have no uh, real efficient answer for Goblin Barrel. We had nothing in hand for the Prince. Um, basically, we did what we could there. Musketeer. Um, the reason I use the Heal Spirit on top of the Prince is that way the Prince actually hits it and loses his charge. If you use the Heal Spirit kind of off to the side, um, the Heal Spirit will actually jump onto the Prince before the Prince hits it. And uh, the Prince remains charged and basically just keep, kind of keeps, keeps charging through. So... That is why I did what I did right there, boys and girls. The issue is going to be in, like, honestly, guys, is winning this battle here. This is not really a good matchup for us. Just because, literally, uh, he's got so many answers for us. We've got zero answer for the Goblin Barrel. And uh, we are probably going to be very quickly here uh, disposed of by our friend Yuzu. This is not a matchup you want to see with this deck. Not in the slightest. We can go Sparky here. Uh, voice crack. Because it basically forces out a, a 60 elixir response. And there's always the chance that they might, they, they might miss their rocket. So, might as well take chances, guys. Might as well. Wait for it. Let's go. Did that heal spirit go into the log? Okay, I thought I, I thought I timed it properly. Evidently, I did not. I thought I had the heal spirit timed after the log went down, but obviously I missed that. I'm hoping he misses his rocket one of these times. That's the plan, at least. Let's go like one of these. We're gonna go a bit YOLO here. I don't really care if we lose this battle, to be honest. But we're gonna try anyways, just because, like... Life's too short to really care. And we have a bad matchup anyway, so we might as well just kind of like give it our best. But if we lose, like it's not really the end of the world either, right? It's one of these. Okay, cool. Dragons here, please. Yeah. Yeah. We can still... Uh, that's how it is dead. Yeah, it's rocket dead. Take a good game. Good game. It is what it is. It's a really, really difficult matchup for us. Um, but I'm happy we, we did that one kind of, uh, uh all-in push there. Just kind of keep it inter interesting. Because otherwise it would have been a seven-minute loss, in, or a six-minute loss, sorry, instead of a, uh, five-minute one. Anyways, guys, that is in the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want to give it a try yourself, guys, a very, very strong deck. If you use it, let me know how it goes for you guys. But that is in the video. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you in the next one.